Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware of the Vision 5.2 for the new Debian image version 69. So as you can see here in this thread on the RV space forum, um, you see that they say you have to update the SPL and U-boot file and yeah, before you can actually boot the Debian image version 69. Um, one of the ways to do it is through SSH. Uh, it's also possible to do it with a USB to TTL converter. Uh, but I think that's a bit more complicated and some people don't have this converter. So I think the first thing um, that you have to do is, uh, yeah, here you can see where you can download the images. So in my case, I went with the Google Drive. And when you don't know how to find the IP address of the Vision 5.2, uh, especially when you don't have any output on the HDMI port, then there is a trick uh, that's, yeah, I guess it will work uh, for most situations, uh, but it involves actually um, starting with the full Debian image version 55. Uh, it's best to download it through torrent because as you can see the full Debian image when it's compressed it's already like five and a half gigs and yeah unfortunately there's no unlimited traffic on Google Drive so at some point it might tell you that you can't download it because uh, the amount of traffic has exceeded the limit. Um, because if you boot with Debian image version 55, uh, you should be able to work with a HDMI monitor. It's probably best to stick with a full HD monitor, uh, not with a higher resolution than that because I've also seen posts that people had problems with higher resolution monitors. And when you have booted uh, version 55, then it's possible to find the IP address of the Vision 5.2 um, with, for instance, the command IP route get 1.2. So in this case, I'm on my Pinebook Pro. So this is the IP address of my Pinebook Pro. But you have to do this on the Vision 5.2. Uh, write down the IP address. Um, and then shut it down. And then you need the minimal image of version 69. So as you can see here, there's also a folder minimal. And here you can see that there is a minimal image compressed. It's almost 500 MB. Um, but in this case, it's also better just to go with the torrent file um, because probably you want to have the full Debian image anyway. So you need to download version 55 uh, if you don't know how to find the IP address, address. If you do know how to do that, then you can only download version 69 and you have to start with the minimal image. So I already started my Vision 5.2 with the minimal image. And yeah, when I checked the IP address with um, Debian image 55, it actually ended on 32. So I powered it down, I booted again with the minimal image 69. So in, in that case, probably the IP address 
is the same or it is one higher. So it was 32. Um, I couldn't connect on 32, so I went with 33 uh, because most of the routers, um, yeah, when they assign a new IP address, they just pick the next one. So uh, if you're unlucky, um, then it assigns a random number, but yeah, I, th I think the default behavior is just assign uh, the next number. Uh, and that also means that um, hopefully you're the only one at that time on the network and that not someone else is already connecting with a new device, uh, messing up uh, the numbering. Um, so it's either the IP address that you saw with the Debian image 55 and otherwise just add one. Uh, to make it one higher. So we're going to connect through SSH as the root user. And when you're connecting the first time, then you get a question. Uh, if you want to continue, just simply type yes and enter. And then you can type in the password. Uh, default password is star five. So now you see a hash and it means that we are logged in. Now, I try to copy the files with SCP, but that didn't work. Um, yeah, first it says uh, that this directory wasn't found. Well, I created it and then it complained about permissions. I tried to change the permissions and it still didn't work. So. I gave up on that. Um, perhaps someone knows what I did wrong here, but um, what I did was I copied the files to a USB stick and I connected the USB stick to Division 5.2. Uh, but it means that you have to manually mount it and you can find the USB stick with fdisk minus L. So in this case, it's def sda1 and yeah for instance you can create a directory in uh, the directory media so i created a directory uh, usb in there so As you can see, I already created it, but uh, yeah, the command is make there, and then in this case it's USB, but it's already there, so there's no point in doing that. Um, so once you have created a directory in media, then you can um, mount it. Uh, yeah, for me it's already mounted, so uh, I'm not going to execute it again. And so now we cd into oh, there and i know there is a subdirectory linux so here you can see that the two files are there so now we're going to follow this guide We have to go to chapter 4.3. Um, yeah, we're not doing it with TFTP boot because I think you need a USB to TTL adapter for that. And so we are going to do it through uh, flash CP, flash copy. Um, with the minimal image 69, you don't have to install the uh, flash copy command because it's already there so you can skip the first step so with this command you're going to check if you can access the mtd partitions so get proc mtd so here you can see we can access it so that's good and then 
we can execute those flash copy commands. Um, let's see. So, oh, flash copy minus V and then the U boot file to def mtd zero. Okay, that's done. And now we need to do the other file. To def mtd one. Okay, and that should be it. And at this point, um, you can shut down the Vision 5.2. You can write the Debian image 69 to a micro SD card, and you should be able to boot with it, and you should have output on your HDMI monitor. Uh, again, probably it's best to stick with an uh, HD uh, monitor and don't go with a higher resolution monitor. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.